Hey, I'm Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engines. Here is the next engine on the dyno. Now, I have not built this engine, but uh, this is something that we're sorting out for uh, Nick Young out of uh, California. And uh, it's got some problems or some surging issues, something like that. So, I've finally been able to get around to uh, dynoing this motor and starting to at least uh, uh, get a baseline on it, see what's going on, see if I can figure anything out. We're going to call this the King Filter because this thing has the King filter on it. Uh, that thing is a pretty bad boy. But anyways, uh, I think we might do some kind of competition on this, but I'm going to uh, make a, uh, some polls on it here and just kind of see where it is exactly the way it already has with the tune and uh, what all is going on with it and see if there's anything wrong, see if there's anything we can figure out if there is something wrong. So anyways, this is the next one coming up on Dino. And uh, Big block Chevy conventional head. I think this is 540 or 572. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Vortex supercharged. Uh, methanol. Two injector per cylinder. Uh, all things said and done. I mean, it's actually a pretty nice piece. So we're going to run this thing and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. But this will be the next one up on the dyno. Maybe we'll do a guessing competition on this. On the uh, King filter. Anyways, I'll keep you posted. Yep, that definitely has a problem. Let's take a look at it here. So, get the camera around a little better. Oop. You can see the primary problem is whatever happened right here. Boom. So, anyways, we'll, uh, We'll go in there, take a look, and see what the heck's going on. All right, now we'll uh, uh, just made all the tune-up changes and everything, and so uh, we'll start this thing up and uh, make another hit here real quick. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the numbers. Now this is after, clearly after we just did the uh, tune work, correcting some issues that are in there, including just basic tune. Can't tune, you gotta use you can't use the main fuel table for everything. You need to use your uh, modifiers properly. So. That's a little bit of it. But let me fix the, there we go, camera. Anyways, as you can see here, uh, we're actually still climbing, but I think that's pre pretty much where he wants to stay at, is in that range. Um, got a little bit of, let's see here, hold on a second. Let me correct bar. Well, it took a whole bunch of numbers down here, which makes it look funny, so I'm not sure why it does that, but anyways. Let me bring up uh, the pre one again, and you can see the comparison. But I mean, that's a 2600, 2658. Um, it actually will start rolling right up through there, and that's at 30 pounds of boost. So 
it just really needed a whole bunch of um like i said tune-up work but there doesn't appear i mean clearly there's nothing wrong with the engine i think the engine is is fine um pretty decent so let's go back here and we'll add a overlay of da ding da ding and let me see if i can clip that well anyways you can see right here this is that first pull and uh just even at that uh 6800 our air pm area it was 1970 you can see right there and i've uh, got a little dip right there because i think i got to continue to work on tune-up but like we'll make that better that's 2266 so that's a uh, 300 horsepower different but you know where it was uh, so far well there's just you know tune-up issues uh you know just fell off like a off a cliff up here and uh, you can see what we're making difference up here so uh pretty good overall change i mean that thing's pretty good i think he'll be uh real happy with it and that that is with a filter on it i'd see you guys had all sorts of questions about the filter that big a filter those big of things uh sometimes that thing will make it better in a, in a dyno scent or in a dyno here uh when it's sitting still um as far as going forward you know versus having a funnel obviously it's not as good as a funnel with frontal air but that thing's actually really good sometimes it helps smooth out air and and it, I've not seen that big a filter ever uh, do anything bad. Uh, if you've seen uh, some of the stuff we did for our for our customer Grant Frazier, uh, testing with the filters like nothing. So, anyways, uh, I'm Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engines. And uh, any of your tuning needs, oh, you see my broom fell down in there. Uh, any of your tuning needs, any kind of problems like that, just let me know. Anyways, have a great day.